the Wisconsin Badgers. Paul Christ last year was a crazy season. Yeah. Went four and three, but after they came out of the gates, I mean, it's smoldering hot. Like they, they were as white hot as you can get. And and then they had issues because obviously everybody got COVID. They they were the yeah. first school that really got decimated. First school that had to cancel games, really. Uh, at least in the Big Ten, I know. But the, the first big one yeah. that we knew of. And the quarterback caught it. I mean, they Jack Cohn went out with an injury, and then Graham Mertz had to do I mean, it was just a it was a mess last year. Their win total sits at 9.5 to go over or under. Both are juiced at minus 115. FBI projects them to go 9-3. and three, But here's the deal. They will be favored in every single game this year. At least preseason. They are projected to be a favorite in every game. Uh, there I think, are. I think they will, though. Like I'm looking yeah. at their schedule, and I don't. I don't see another team that'll have a maybe a better record than them, if not an equal record to them no. when they play. Um, the offense, I mean, looked completely different last year. Early, now, that was before injuries, of course, decimated before all the the COVID stuff. Uh, I mean, the offensive line and wide receiver rooms uh, were completely decimated last year. Those should be rebuilt this season. The running back situation never improved from the beginning of the season to the end. How much of that was offensive line? How much of that was they could they just couldn't find a guy to replace Jonathan Taylor? Let, 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 let's get to this. Do we think Mertz is a guy? I think he is. You think you think he could be the best quarterback in the in the Big Ten? No. No. I don't think he's the guy that can that can bring them a, a Big Ten championship because I think it's Ohio State's for as long as they want it. That that like, That's I not think, what I asked. I think C.J. Stroud is the best guy. I think Graham Mertz is right there, right behind him. Okay. So a guy that's never taken a stat before, you're just going to take that chance. Well, I mean, Graham Mertz has only played, like, two games. So, like, <laughs> Yeah, but in those two games, he looked amazing. <laughs> yeah. He looked great, but he was playing against, you know, Michigan's uh, uh, Michigan. completely hapless defense last year. and We didn't know that when they played them. They looked hapless after Wisconsin did that. Right, but they also looked hapless after Rutgers scored okay. forty whatever on them. Yeah, like it, you, you feel like we both like Wisconsin. That's fine. Yes, I was just trying to gauge where you thought Merch was. The nine and a half here. I, I'm going over the nine and a half. Yeah, I think this is I a think ten win team easy. Yeah, I think I it's think ten There's wins. a world where they're twelve and zero when they go in to face Ohio State. Yeah, I think so as well. I think I think this is one of those years because of what happened last year. Yeah. I think they come out of I the gates. I think that world exists. I think they come out of the gates swinging this year. Just absolutely swinging. If I could if I could get a big number on on, you know, will they go undefeated? A good price on that. I I I I'd, I'd play it for the right price. Well, if you if you want to bet on them to win this division, it's plus 135. Well, yeah, but that's a small bet though. I mean, yeah. plus 135, that's fine. I'm talking about going undefeated. Now, I think yeah. 10 wins will win the division. What yeah, kind but of two pro- going. What kind of this. price can I get? Can I get plus four hundred, plus five hundred, for them to go? Like, if you set like an alternative Und- win total at like eleven and a half. Yeah, yeah well, set, set your win total at, from nine and a half up to eleven and a half. Uh, you could probably get it. Yeah, probably plus four hundred. I'd probably, to go over I'd, eleven and a half. I'd probably take that J- just to try it. I mean, just yeah. as a flyer, why not? But yeah, I mean, if it's if it's over nine and a half is minus one fifteen. Yeah, I, I could see. I could see getting no, they to could, they could, like I said they could lose that week one Penn State they could lose week three to Notre Dame or four to Notre Dame like a hundred percent they could lose both those games. This is a team that doesn't often have the opportunity to go undefeated. This is true. This is the only reason this is a conversation. This is true. If this was Clemson or Alabama or Ohio State, nobody would be having this conversation. Now you're right about that. You have it here because of. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.